Hey guys, Paul here. I want to do a really quick video on how to fix um, Team Viewer changing the audio on your um, computer when you're using it. This is for Mac, but it'll probably be the same as um, in Windows to an extent. Um, so, what I'm going to do to show you is I'm going to start this video off. So, what I like to do is work on a project and then um, listen to something, listen to an audio book or listen to something to, you know, to learn while I'm doing it. So I'll start this. So you'll see, nice and loud. When I open TeamViewer, and then go to a computer that I connect to, it drops the sound right out. So if you hear that, the sound in the background drops right out. And why that is, is because I think TeamViewer thinks you're going to conference call the person on the computer at the other end. And it changes the audio settings on your computer. Rate annoying. I don't know why they do it. I don't know uh, if they're planning to fix it or not. But, you know, I, I log into a computer. I do work. I don't speak to anybody. So what I need to do is go TeamViewer Preferences. And then on the audio, it's here, Conference Call. Built-in output for speakers built-in microphone for microphone. So this is where there is nowhere to turn that off. So you just think, you know, team viewer, just put a, put something here that says, we don't want conference call or we'll do it ourselves. So what I have to do, so luckily I've got my Yeti microphone, which is what I'm recording on. Um, and I've got my AirPods in as well. So what I can do, if I, if I change this to stereo speaker, Show you that's all you need to do. Sound comes it's not back. Ask for any credit card. It's not going to ask for your address. It's not In fact, I've got to turn it down. Else. Yeah. Right. So it's welcome to again with so with this AirPod. It'll change. When I got to built-in output, the sound goes quiet again. So it's a really annoying thing, but you have to have a second device. You will have to have. Um, some USB connection to a device. Luckily, my microphone works on it, so I don't have to have other ear earphones. But I do have, you know, if I am studying or listening on my AirPod, video, um, AirPods, then I can make this um, built in, and then you're not going to know, but I can change this up here to AirPods, and it's coming through my ears now. You know, so that's what I have to do. So it, it, either way, uh, it's definitely me and you can't hear it. If if you leave speaker on Team Viewer as built in, then you would have to go up and change it to your your um, earphones for the main speaker. Um, if you leave, if you don't want to to listen on um, on the, if you don't want to have an headphones on and you want to listen out loud, then you would have to change this to another device. So my my Twitter account now I'm gonna do Facebook. Understand? So and we're both said understand at the same time. <laughs> so that's how to do it. You're basically gonna go Team Viewer Preferences, uh, and then go to Audio, and then change that speaker setting to whatever isn't uh, being used by you as default. So you know, my, like I said, my internal speakers is set. So I'm going to change this to something other than built-in output. All right, hope that helps. Just an annoying thing that I see with TeamViewer. I mean, I hope they fix it pretty quick in the next update. Um, leave a comment. Let me know any other problems you're having, and I'll uh, I'll surely try and help you if I can. Cheers.